Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Fresh Fruit Magazine, reporting to you from Exeter, where the Citrus Research Board and UC Cooperative Extension held a citrus grower seminar. Here, Peggy Lamox from the Department of Microbiology at UC Berkeley discussed the viability of genetic engineering as a solution to the citrus greening disease threatening the California citrus industry. The basic genetics, whether you're crossing an insect or you're crossing a plant, is the same. Uh, so I was here today to talk to the citrus growers. Um, my background actually is doing genetic engineering and doing genetic engineering of crops. But there is clearly a huge problem uh, for citrus in terms of uh, greening disease. Uh, and so now we have to consider how can we defend ourselves, let's say as growers, against this disease. And there really are sort of two ways to approach this to use genetics. Uh, one is to go out and try to find, let's say, a citrus tree. Maybe it doesn't exist here in the United States, but maybe it exists somewhere else. But it has some genetic information in it that allows that tree to defend itself against this bacterium that causes greening disease. Uh, and so the possibility then would be to go and get that piece of genetic information and move it into the, the trees that grow here in the United States. So that's one possibility. So it would then be a genetically engineered tree uh, that would produce fruit, oranges or lemons, uh, and those would have that new piece of genetic information in it that protects them against the greening disease. Another possibility, since the greening disease is carried by an insect, is instead of engineering the tree, you would engineer the insect. And the insect then would become uh, not, not a host for the disease. So they're trying to figure out ways to make the insect inhospitable to the disease so that it would not then carry the disease and not move it uh, from one tree to the next. So those are sort of the two options that they're looking at right now in terms of genetic approaches, genetic approaches to uh, controlling greening disease. So one consideration uh, when you're thinking about approaches to um, genetic approaches to greening disease uh, is how would the consumer respond to uh, either engineering the citrus or engineering the insect. And I think at this point, no one really knows what will happen. Um, it could be that um, by engineering the tree, uh, perhaps you wouldn't have to engineer the whole tree. You might be able to engineer the rootstock, but not the upper part of the tree. Uh, and so if that were the case and you could control the disease that way, then perhaps consumers would be a little more comfortable with it. Um, going with the controlling the disease through the insect, uh, it wouldn't actually be the, the genetic information that you needed to protect the, the, against the disease would not actually be in the citrus itself, it would be in the insect. And that might be more palatable uh, to consumers. Uh, I think a lot of it's going to depend on um, how quickly they can figure this out and how quickly they can actually make these approaches work. Uh, and there may have to be some uh, interim approaches that control the insect or control the disease before these uh, genetic approaches would actually be able to be used. Thanks, Peggy. Read the full report of today's Citrus Meeting in the next issue of California Fresh Fruit Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm. CaliforniaAgnet.com